Welcome back to my house and my tank. I run the Trident and the Trident MP on that. I'd just like to talk to you a little bit about that today. So you can dose alongside the readings that the Trident gives you. I don't do this. I do like to be able to manually control what I am putting into the aquarium from the readings that I'm getting. Because I run the MP and the Trident, I can monitor that from anywhere in the world. I am testing four times a day on the standard Trident and once a day on the MP. I don't feel as though I need to do any more than that just because I've learned over the time what the consumption is and it stays pretty stable. Never had a problem with them. They always give me a reading of what I expect. And also, just for backup, I generally send off an ICP once a month as well. Modern Reef is my ICP of choice because I use the RKS. If I am wanting to drill down into my minor trace elements, I will send a MS in. Uh, I use the ATI for the MS. Um, generally, once a month, I throw one of these over um, and just check that everything is running as it should be. Double check it against my Trident, double check it against my MP. I really can't stress how important it is to send an ICP off. ICP is not just for when you think that you've got a problem. ICP in my eyes is for when everything is going great, you send your ICP off, you know why it's going great, and then you can keep replicating that. And as you can see in here, this is the log of all of my ICPs that I've done since the start of this aquarium. And what I do is I don't just look at whether they are high or low or what they're recommended. What I look at is my last test and where I want to be. So if my iodine was low on my last test and it's still low on this test, as long as it's risen, I don't mind. That's, that's fine because I'm trying to get there slowly rather than jump too quickly. Thanks for watching today. Stay tuned for the next episode where we are going to talk about how I feed my fish when I'm away.